My dear fellow, whom do I see? Ivan Vasilvich, I am so glad, extremely glad. This is a surprise, my dear. How are you? Uh, thank you, and how may be you getting on? Ah, oh, we get along somehow, my angel. Thanks to your prayers and all that. Sit, please sit down. Thank you. You see, you shouldn't forget all about your neighbors. Ah, my dear fellow, why are you so much in your evening dress, my precious? <laughs> it is as if you are paying us a New Year's Eve visit. Uh, you see, uh, it's like this. Um, I come to trouble you with a request. Not once or twice in the past, I have had the privilege of applying to you for uh, help. And you have always been, uh, so to say, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, I'm a little excited. I'll have a drink of uh, mm -hmm. water. He has come to borrow money, shan't give him any. Well, what is it, my beauty? Honored, uh, Stefanich, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Stefan Honorovich, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can clearly see that I'm very excited, but there's nobody I can go to f for help except you and I don't know if I deserve it, and I don't know if I have a right to count on your assistance. Ah, don't go round and round about it, darling. Spit it out. Well? Uh, uh, just a moment. Uh, a minute. Uh, uh, well, I have come to ask the hand of Natalia Stefanova in marriage. By Jove, Ivan Vasilvich, say it again. I, I didn't hear the, it quite well. I have the honor. Well, my dear, I am so glad, so extremely glad, and so on. Uh, yes, yes, indeed, of course, and all that. Uh, you know, I have been hoping for it all along. It has been my continual desire. Uh, my boy, I have loved you always, just like my own son. May God bless you with both his help and his love and all the hope and so on. Uh, I am so extremely delighted. Uh, oh, what am I behaving in this manner for? Uh, I should go with all my soul, fetch Natasha uh, and so on. Stefan Stefanovich, do you think I can count on her consent? Why, of course. And why wouldn't she consent? She is like a lovesick cat and so on. Shan't be long. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It's so terrible. As if I have an examination tomorrow. The great thing is my mind must be made up. If I give myself time to think, to hesitate, to talk too much, or to try and find real love or ideal love, I will never get married. Ah, it's so cold. Natalia Stefanovna is a very good housekeeper, well educated, and not bad looking. What is there to lose? Ah, I hear a sound, this whistle, because of all the excitement. <clears throat> it is impossible that I do not get married. In the first place, I am 35, and that they say is the critical age. In the second place, I must now lead a quiet and regular life. I always get too excited and upset and even now, there's a tremble on my lips and, and there's a twitching in my right eyebrow. And the worst of all is when I go off to sleep, just when I'm about to doze off, there's something pulling me on the left side and then I feel it in my shoulder. 
again and this can happen 20 times in one night well there it's you and papa said go there's a merchant come for his goods how do you do ivan vasilevich uh, how do you do natalia stefanova uh, well you must excuse my apron we were shelling peas for drying uh, but why haven't you come here for such a long time uh, please sit down Thank you. Won't you have some lunch? Uh, no, thank you. I already had some. Uh, then some smoke. Uh, these are the matches. Uh, the weather is quite splendid today. But yesterday it was quite wet and the workmen didn't get anything done at all. Uh, how much hay have you got stacked? Uh, just think, I felt greedy and got a whole field cut and now I'm not pleased about it at all. You see, I feel uh, my hair may rot. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, why are you dressed in an evening dress? But I must say you look better. Uh, but tell me, why are you got up like that? Um, you, you see, uh, I have made up my mind to ask you to uh, hear me out. Uh, it may surprise you, uh, or you may even be angry. Uh, oh, it's so cold. Uh, well, what's the matter? Uh, you, you see, um, I shall be brief. Um, I have had the privilege of uh, uh, knowing your family since childhood, Honorable Natalia Stefanova. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my aunt and my um, uh, uncle, uh, from who I have inherited the land, had the highest respect for your father and your uh, late mother. Um, and the Lomovs and Chubukovs have always been friends to the point of uh, being affectionate. And even our lands are nearby. Your birch wood uh, touches my oxen meadows. Excuse my interrupting you, but you say my oxen meadows. But are they yours? Yeah, mine. Well, what are you talking about? Uh, the oxen meadows are ours, not yours. No, mine, uh, honored Natalia Stefanova. Well, how do you make that out? How? Oxen Meadow is the territory between Birchwood and Burnt Marsh. Yes, yes, they are ours. Uh, no, they're mine, honored Natalia Stefanovna. Just think, Ivan Vasilevich, how long have they been yours? How long? As long as I can remember. <laughs> really? You can't get me to believe that. I will show you the documents. <laughs> no, you're joking. Or simply making fun of me. Uh, what a surprise. We've had the land for nearly 300 years and suddenly we are told that it isn't ours. Ivan Vasilevich, I can't believe my own ears. Uh, the meadows aren't worth much to me. In fact, they are worth perhaps 300 rubles, but I can't stand on fairness. Say what you will, I can't stand on fairness. But hear me out, I implore you, Natalia Stefanovna. You know my aunt's um, grandmother gave free use of oxen meadows in perpetuity to the peasants of your father's grandfather and then to make it pleasant. I can't make head or tail about this aunts and grandfathers and grandmothers. The oxen meadows belong to us and that's that. Mine. It's not true. They are ours. You can go on proving it for two whole days. You can put on 15 dress jackets. But I tell you, they are ours. Ours, ours. <sighs> I don't want anything of yours. But I won't give you anything of mine. So there. I don't want the oxen meadows myself. But it is a matter of principle. And I, if you like, I can make you a present of them. <laughs> I can make a present of it myself because they are mine. <laughs> Your behavior, Ivan Vaisilevich, is strange to say the least. Up till now, we thought of you as a good neighbor, in fact, a good friend. We even lent you our threshing machines last summer, on account of which we had to put off our own threshing till after November. And now you behave towards us as though we were gypsies, giving me my own land? Indeed. <laughs> no, that's not at all neighborly. In fact, if you ask me, uh, that's impudent to say the least. 
You are calling me a land grabber? Madam, no one's ever called me that. I have grabbed no one's land and I shan't be called that. Oxen meadows are mine. Ours. Mine. Ours. Mine. Ours. Mine. Ours. What is this? What are you fighting for? Papa, please tell this gentleman who owns Oxen Meadows. We or he? Darling, the meadows are ours. Stefan Stefanovich, what are you saying? Do be reasonable. As you know, my aunt's grandmother gave the free use of Oxen Meadows in perpetuity to the peasants of your father's grandfather. And the peasants of your grandfather's grandfather were supposed to make bricks for my aunt's grandmother and they uh, having gotten used to uh, that land for 40 years they started thinking it is theirs and which is when it so happened that dear uh, one excuse me you forget just this that the peasants did not pay anything to your grandmother and so on <laughs> because the meadows were always in dispute and all that and now everybody knows that they are ours <laughs> this means you have not seen the plan I shall prove it to you, they are mine. <laughs> you will not prove anything, darling. I shall! Young man, why yell? You will not prove anything just by yelling. I don't want anything of yours. And I don't intend to give anything that I have. <laughs> why should I? And if you propose to continue to argue about it on and on, I would much sooner give the meadows to the peasants <laughs> than oh. you. There! How is that possible? How can you give away somebody else's property? You can take it that I know whether I have the right or not. Because young man, I am not used to being spoken to in this tone of yours and all that. I am twice your age and I ask you to speak to me without getting agitated and all that. Are you making a fool of me and you think you can have me on? You're trying to grab my land and still you want me to talk to you calmly and politely? This is not neighborly behavior. You're a grass rattlesnake. You're an anaconda. You're a land grabber. What was that? What did you say? Papa, send the movers out to Meadows this very day. What was that, sir? Never mind. The Lumovs, they were all honorable people. Nobody has ever been tried for embezzlement like your grandfather in my family. Lamovs. <laughs> you Lamovs have had lunacy in your family. All of you. All. 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 Your grandfather. Your grandfather was a drunkard. And that younger aunt of yours? Natasha? Mihailovna. Whatever. She ran away with an architect. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your mother was a humpback. Oh, my heart, my foot. Your and father was a guzzling a... gambler, a oh. bloody guzzling gambler. And there haven't been many to equal your backbiting aunt. Oh, my left foot has gone to sleep. You are an intriguer. Oh, I see stars. Where's my no. It's dishonest. It's mean. Yes, indeed. Oh. You are a double-faced malicious intriguer. Yes. yes. Here's my hat and my heart. Ah, I'm dying. Where's the door? Don't I'm ever dying. step foot in my house again. Go to the court if you want. They will take him. The rascal. What trust can one have in one's neighbors after that? The devil, the scarecrow, the villain. The monster. First he takes our lands and then he has the impudence to abuse us. That blind hen, that turnip ghost has the confounded cheek to come and make a proposal. What? A proposal and all that. What proposal? Why, he came to propose to you. To propose? To me? Why didn't you tell me so before? So, he dresses in the evening clothes. That stuffed sausage, that wizen face frump. To propose to me? Ha! Huh. <laughs> Bring him back! Bring him back! <laughs> Bring... Bring... Bring, Bring him back! back. 
What's the matter with you? <laughs> What's wrong with this? What is all this? <laughs> quick, quick! Oh, I'm what an unhappy man I am! I will kill myself. I will slit my throat. Ah, quick, quick! I'm ill. Fetch him! Ah, Fetch him! At once! Don't yell! Don't yell! <laughs> oh, what have they done to me? <laughs> Fetch him! <laughs> uh, he's coming. Oh, what a burden it is to be a father of a grown-up daughter. Ha! Huh. We abused him. We cursed him. We drove him out. And I tell you, it is you. All of you. No, it's you. <laughs> I tell you, and all that. It is not me. It is you. Ah, here he comes. You talk to him yourself. I don't want to. Oh, my heart is palpitating. My foot is numb, and that is foot on my left side of the shoulder. Forgive us, Ivan Vasilievich. Uh, we were a little bit heated. Uh, I now remember that uh, oxen oh. meadows are really yours. My heart, my eyebrows, my meadows. Are, yeah, yes, yes, the meadows. They are truly twitching. yours. Uh, please sit down. Thank you. Uh, uh, we were wrong, please forgive us. Uh, the meadows don't mean much to me, but uh, I was acting on the principle. Uh, yes, yes, the principle, just so. Uh, uh, and more so because I have evidence. You see, my aunt's uh, uh, grand grandmother gave uh, for free use in perpetuity. The yes, land of yes, oxen. Let, let that uh, pass. Uh, uh, the meadows are truly yours. Uh, I wish I knew how to get it. Uh, when are you going to start shooting? Um, uh, you see, honored Natalia Stefanovna, I hope to go hunting black cox uh, soon after the harvest. Uh, but you know, what a tragedy, what a misfortune. Uh, didn't you hear my, my dear dog uh, uh, Basher, whom you have met, uh, went lame? What a pity, yeah. how? I don't know, maybe he uh, twisted his ankle, maybe some other dog uh, uh, bit him. But also to think of the expenses, I paid Mirunov 125 rubles uh, for, the, for the dog. Oh, that was too expensive, Ivan Vasilovich. Expensive? I think very cheap. He's a first-rate dog. Well, Papa paid only 85 rubles for his Asher, and Asher is heaps better than Basher. Asher better than Basher? I'm sorry, but Asher better than Basher. Why, of I'm so, course. I'm sorry. Asher is better than Basher, of course. Uh, well, Asher is a little young. He may develop a bit. But on points and pedigree, he's way better than even what Wolchanetsky has got. Well, honored Natalia Stefanovna, uh, everybody knows that uh, Asher is a little overshot. Uh, overshot. An, an overshot dog means a bad hunter. Overshot? Is he? I never heard of it before. Uh, well, his, his lower jaw is definitely smaller than his upper jaw. Have you measured? Oh, yes, I have measured. And such a dog is good for following and all that, but for hunting and catching... Yeah. In the first place, Asher is a thoroughbred animal, the son of harness and chisels, whereas there is no getting at the pedigree of your silly basher. He is as old and ugly as a worn-out cab horse. Well, he is old, but he's a dog. As for Asher, it's too funny to even argue about it. I... Anybody you like on the street has a dog like that, such a dog as you can find under every bush. Like, I would say 25 rubles is a very handsome price. There is some demon of contradiction in you today, Ivan Vasilevich. First you pretended that the meadows are yours, and now you say that a basher is better than Asher. Oh. <laughs> I don't like people who don't say what they mean because you very well know that Asher is a hundred times better than your silly basher. Uh, why would you like to say something else? Honored Natalia Stefanovna, either you think I'm a blind or a fool. 
anybody on the street can tell you that Asher is an overshot. It's not true. It's true. It's not true. Madam, why are you shouting? Why talk rot? It's awful. It's time your passer was shot and you compare him to Asher. Oh, my heart is palpitating. Please stop talking. I shan't stop oh, talking. Oh, my heart is going to pieces. Please, please, please stop talking. I shan't stop talking until you acknowledge that Asher is better than Basher. Hundred times worse, and your Asher should be hanged, his jaws and bone and shoulder. And there is no need to hang your Basher. He is already half dead. My heart is bursting. Shut up! I shan't shut up! What's the matter now? Papa, please tell this gentleman. <sighs> which is the better dog? Our Asher or his Basher? Honored Stefan Stefanovich, I am so glad to see you. Just tell me one thing. Is your Asher an overshot dog or not? Yes or no? Suppose he is. What does it matter? He is the best dog in the entire district. Really? A cow? <laughs> Don't get excited, my precious. Allow me. Your dog, you see, has his good points. He's purebred. He's firm on his feet and has strong ribs. And so on. <laughs> However, to tell you the truth, my dear one, your dog has two defects. He's old and shot in the muzzle. Now that you're talking of facts, Stefan Stefanovich, let us talk of facts. You remember the Marusinski hunt, mm -hmm. where all the dogs were running with the Count's dog, and your Asher was left a whole verse behind. He left behind because the Count's um, whipper in hit him with his whip. And for a good reason. All dogs were chasing foxes, whereas your dog, Asher, was chasing sheep. This is not true. Young man, I am very liable to lose my temper and on. And just because of that, we should stop arguing. Everybody is jealous of everybody else's dog. And my dear one, you are not blame free. You come and start with this and that and so on and all that. I remember everything. I remember everything too. I remember everything. What do you remember? Oh, my heart, my foot is going numb. Oh. My heart. What sort of hunter are you? You should go lie on the kitchen oven and count black beetles, not go after foxes. My heart. <laughs> Really? What sort of hunter are you anyway? You ought to stay at home with your palpitations and not <laughs> chasing animals. You could go hunting, but you go around arguing with people and interfering with their dogs and so on. Let's change the topic before I lose my temper. You are no hunter anyway. Oh my heart, and what sort of a hunter are you? You go hunting only to get in with the Count and to intrigue. Oh, my what? heart, you are an intriguer. I'm an intriguer? Yes. Shut up. Intriguer. You fool, boy. Old rat, Jesuit. Shut up or else I'll shoot you like a petridge, you oh. fool. Oh, my heart is falling to pieces. Your, your wife used to beat you. Oh. And you'll oh. live under the slipper of oh. your housekeeper. Oh, I fall, I fall. Water, doctor, help. <laughs> what sort of a hunter are you? You can't even ride a horse. Papa. Oh, what's happened to him? Papa, look! Ivan Vasilevich! He's dead! I am sick! He's dead! I can't breathe! Air! Ivan Air. Vasilevich, he's dead! Huh? Oh, he's dead! What's the oh, matter? What have you done to me? He's dead! A doctor! He's no. dead! So he is! <laughs> ah, a word! My doctor! Water! Here! Drink this! 
he doesn't drink that means he's really dead oh i'm the unhappiest of the men oh, why don't i put a bullet in my head why haven't i cut my throat yet what am i waiting for give me a knife give me a pistol oh he's coming around here here drink water drink some water that's right where am i i see stars i see mist where am i hurry up hurry up <laughs> marry her she's ready <laughs> yes. marry her yes yes i'm willing what? she's willing with whom here i give you my mess blessings marry her and be damned <laughs> oh. honorable natalia stefanovna oh i'm so happy <laughs> i'm so happy too <laughs> but but uh, you would agree that asher is better than bashar what bashar is better than asher oh. <laughs> asher this is Basher. the best family bliss and some champagne